Good morning, everybody. It's Sally. I'm here to green light my day, and I'm going to go back to kind of what I was doing when I started this fall meditating and just share a very simple thing. I mean, meditation is something I've always felt drawn to, having a quieted mind, having, you know, just things float through to lift you up, to calm you down. But this was, um, this was a concept that I have not done really in my adult life or any regular, in any regular way, but I, I, I found my notebook. See, I have these notebooks. That's the one thing about Brené is she does teach, this is not Brené, but you get a notebook, it's an art journal, you write in it, you draw in it, you scribble in it, you never tear a page out because whatever you put down is good enough. Just let it flow. So that's another book. But this is my meditation book. And I draw in it and do little doodles and express what I'm feeling. And this is what it says on this page, and this is what I'm going to do today. My life is a maze of infinite possibilities. Unlimited abundance. I will live fully present in the now. My intentions fully expressed. I create my own reality. That's what I have on that page. And I kind of drew a maze, kind of a curly Q maze. And it really, when I read it again this morning, I thought that's what I'm going to sit with today. My life is a maze of infinite possibilities. So do you know what I do when I hear that? I want to close my eyes and I want to sit in my chair and I want to light my candle or burn my incense. And when I, I want to stop and... Do you know that the way people say perception is reality? Perception is reality. Even if there is objective truth, which means something is true regardless of people accept it or not, objective truth, still, still, perception is that person's reality. So, the sky might be blue, but if a person's perception is that it's green, that is their truth. That is their reality. So, why? You know, this comes with the rose-colored glasses mentality. Why do we want to see things as darker or bad things might happen or a lack of enough in my life, scarcity um, perception. I don't want to wear glasses of, of scarcity where everything's not going to be enough. I'm not going to be enough. That's shame glasses. Um, we won't have enough money to do this, or I can't do that because I, I'm not good enough yet. Or why? You know, those aren't real truths. But that's the perceptions that some of us want to live with. So when I stop and think, meditate on good and light and true and generous and open and abundant, abundant living. It's nothing to do with money for me. Abundant living is drinking life to the least, seeing that the sky is blue, taking the most you can out of a day. So when I read and I hear the words, my life, my life is a maze of infinite possibilities. I just want to wrap that around me like a big old blanket and sit in that chair and just let it soak and soak and soak into my skin. I want to get up this day and spend a day seeing through the glasses that say, my life is a maze of infinite possibilities and so is yours. Because if you say it, you soak it, you, you own it, you go out and don't let anybody, you know, kill your buzz or what is it they say? I can't remember what it is now, but you know what I'm saying. You can live in your own reality. Isn't, wouldn't it be wonderful if all of us lived in our own realities of positivity and abundance? So much better than living in the negative and the lack and the scarcity. Because that just that just breeds more discontent and more more grumbling and more sadness and more irritability and more selfishness and more anger, and then you just you're like a you know the flint and the rock just spark. Be different. 
choose, choose, choose to sit and think and meditate and let it soak in and go out. Today is a day. doesn't matter that the car broke down. we got to spend $1,000 to fix it. No, that is not going to color my day. I put that stuff to the side. You can choose how you want to live out your life, your thought process. You can. Don't be buffeted back and forth. Don't let the world tell you how you got to feel today. You choose how you're going to feel today. And the way I've found that I can do that better is if I sit in that chair over there that you can see, I light my candle, I burn my incense stick, I put on my uh, YouTube. It's got an abundance of med meditation music. It's all that nature kind of... I plop that on the computer, I close my eyes, I shut the door, and I give myself an opportunity to like shake out the tension and sit and quiet my spirit and say, you know, I, I, I mean, you can say whatever you want to do, but I, for me, I just, uh, I just call out to the universe and I set my intention. I just say, great creator spirit, creator of the universe. Father God, if that's what you want to say, I have done. Sometimes I'm trying to back up a little bit because I've got some connotations where I'm kind of stuck there. So I'm trying to let it all relax. And I just go, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. My life is a maze of infinite possibility, full of abundance. Where am I going to go out and greet the day? And and embody that mindset. That's what I'm going to do today. That's my intention for today. Give it a try and see if you like it. It works for me. Um, and the more you practice, the easier it is to hold on to. So you guys make it a great one. Peace out, and I will see you tomorrow.